guest is Tony nominated and Grammy Award winning actor. He's currently starring on Broadway and Gutenberg, the musical, now playing at the James Earl Jones Theater. Please welcome back to the show our friend Andrew Rannells, everybody. It feels like it's been a very long time since I've been here. Hi, Sid. I think in person, 2019, 2019 so it has been I a bit of time. There's been, yes, I saw photos. Yeah. This very thing. And we yeah. looked great. We did look great. We, we looked, looked the same. We looked the same Nothing now. has changed. I had your uh, friend and co-star, Josh Gad, on the show. Yeah. You seem upset that he was here. No, 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 no. I just kind of thought this was my thing. <laughs> and... <laughs> You know, he's like an L.A. guy, and I was like, this is sort of my show. Oh, yeah, like, you know you're I mean? you're kind of a Seth guest, and he's yeah, kind of like an like out-there guest. Somebody. Yeah. yeah. It was so nice. It was. But it was fine. That was nice of you to be so nice to him. Yes. I appreciate that. He's yeah. very fragile. Yeah, and L.A. people, like, they scare oh, easily. God. They're super scared. But, yeah, I really did drag him, because um, oh, that was his first time yeah. doing the show. And I was like, oh, I've done it, like, 10. <laughs> <laughs> Which I don't think is true, but it's probably close -ish. It's pretty close. You'd round it up to 10. Yeah. He yeah. was talking about, and we were talking about uh, Broadway and tiny dressing rooms. Yes, we do have tiny dressing rooms. The proximity of your dressing rooms. We are right next to each other. You would think maybe we would have gotten a little yeah. bit farther apart, but no, that's not the Because the entire show is the two of you on it's stage just together. It's the two of us. We have a, a three-person band on stage with us, and just Josh and I. So we're in this little... Do you, he was together. talking about your warm up before the show. Do you warm up in the same way, or we you... do not? Okay. No, Josh. Um, Josh's vocal warm up is like mostly like '80s like power ballads. Yeah, <laughs> and I stick to more sort of traditional like musical theater things yeah. to warm up to. But recently, the stra it's been a bit very strange. Our dresser Alex Bartlett and I have been very confused. Sometimes during intermission, Josh will go into his dressing room and listen to like acoustic versions of "Everybody Hurts." <laughs> Or creep, <laughs> or like there's like it's really it gets real dark, and, and like, that's a Josh, very counter energy no, to the play. Yeah, this show is like it's like all high energy, and yeah. Josh is in there like I guess slowly rocking in the dark. I don't know <laughs> what he's doing, but they I, are I'm long concerned. days when you have double shows. He was saying that he will take he will lie on a he will take a nap on a cot that you have described as his FEMA cot. <laughs> well, it is a little jarring. Usually, yeah, I mean. I'm all for naps, don't get me wrong, but he does sleep like sort of an infant. <laughs> and he sleeps wherever and whenever he can, so they have like a full rollaway bed that he pulls into his room from the hallway and just lays down and I guess cries himself to sleep. Yeah. I don't know. Due to his acoustic, his acoustic sad of, song mix, yeah. yeah. But he takes, a, he takes well, a lot of naps. I mean, naps are important. Broadway is hard. Broadway's hard. It's eight shows. It's, you know, it's a very active show. It's just the two it's of us. Just the two of you. Now, one around. nice thing, though, is uh, the audience I, doesn't play a role, but there's no fourth wall on the show. No, so you get to talk not. to the audience. Which is a good thing and a bad thing, as, as you know. Like, opening the door to the audience yes. of like, there's a sort of a false sense of like, do we participate? And the answer is no. <laughs> They're there not, to be spoken to. You, you do not get to participate. <laughs> You, um, so, well, you know, we, we are, you know, introducing ourselves and we're explaining the show and, and, you know, most of the time, most audiences are fantastic. And then some audiences, we get some, like, some jokers who are like, hey, Olaf, you know, and they like, <laughs> right. do some, like, that's not what we're doing, sir. And do you just basically have the, have the permission to say that to them? Kind of, yeah, yeah. in this show. I mean, I, uh, yes, I have, like, a little bit more... What's the best way to say this? A tiny more experience in front of a live audience than Josh does. Jo this is Josh's first time back. I'm talking about him like he's dead. But he's, <laughs> it's his first time back to Broadway since the Book of Mormon. Yeah. Um, and thank you. Um, <laughs> and Josh, um, you know, the general rule of improv, Seth, is, yeah. is yes and. Yes and. Correct. Whatever your partner says, you gotta you roll with do it. it. So, you know, inevitably things will go wrong in a Broadway show. And in this show, we sort of differentiate all these different characters we play by wearing these hats with the characters' names on them. And usually, everything goes fine. And sometimes there's a little, you know, there can be a little kerfuffle. Or, you know, it's a new show. We were in preview, so there's some changes and stuff. So one night we were doing the show, and I skipped, like, four pages. <laughs> like, four full pages. Yeah. 
And, but in my mind, I was thinking about it and I was like, well, I could try to go back, but why? And I was like, it's probably for the better for everyone, for the crew, for yeah. the, everyone wants to go home. So I just kind of kept going and just was like, we'll just skip the four pages. And were you making eye contact with him as if to be like, I acknowledge I missed it, but let's keep going? Well, that's on me. Okay. Perhaps I didn't do that clearly enough, but, in, but his him improv to me was, you don't know where the f you are. He said that on stage, on stage. for the audience. Yeah. Here. Yeah, that's not good improv at no. all. Yeah. And <laughs> to which I replied, no, I don't. And then we got back on track, but it was not. That's not kind. It was, yeah. it was no Did he but. make you go back or did you keep going? Oh, I kept going. Yeah, yeah. You can't then. I, I punished them all. You know why you can't? Because if you then went back, the audience would see exactly how much you'd missed when you got back to the place you and were I'll at. And I'll be honest, I have no clue <laughs> what I missed. And I really did, I went backstage and I was like, I know I missed a lot. And they were like, it's four pages. And I was like, oh, okay, well. You also have a very cool thing in this show. Uh, there is a cameo every night. Oh, yes, yes, we so, do. We have a special guest cameo. And do you, yeah. how far in advance do you know who the uh, cameo will be? Sometimes the day of. Gotcha. You know, but we do rehearse with the person a little bit before. So we d actually just had um, your friend and uh, also fellow Omaha and Amber Ruffin. Amber Ruffin, the great Amber Ruffin yeah. in this show. <laughs> who killed it, was hilarious. Yeah. You also, really uh, the hilarious. show was called Gutenberg and you just had. We uh, had Steve Gutenberg. You had Steve Gutenberg. <laughs> Steve Gutenberg spelled with two T's, <laughs> in case anyone's keeping track. <laughs> Gutenberg is, Johan is with one, Steve is with two. No, he was fantastic. And I, you know, he was a you know, huge part of my childhood. Oh, I know, in I terms absolutely. Of he's like in so many movies from that That time. you watched yes. on VHS tape a thousand times. A each. thousand times, yeah, uh, so Alex, that was very exciting. Uh, Alex yeah. Timbers is the director. Alex Timbers. Wonderful director. Fantastic director. A collaborative director. Very collaborative, uh, yes. But yet you've worked with directors in the past. Have you ever received notes from directors that you uh, were maybe trying to be constructive but rang a little? Yeah, early cool. on, I think sometimes they, okay. they get, well, what am I saying early on? Sometimes still today. Um, <laughs> get impatient and they yeah. want to say, and I'm all for it. Like if you want it faster or louder, yes. just say faster or louder. Cause sometimes people can, you know, get into like, well, I wonder if there should be more immediacy. And you're like, you mean faster. <laughs> you want it faster? It's great. So I like to cut to the chase, yes, don't get course. me wrong. Right. But I did have a director, um, he gave me, I used to keep them cause he would write his notes down oh, and yeah. hand them out. My favorites were um, quit acting with your hair. <laughs> Good one. Charming is not a choice. I beg to differ. I could choose to be a dick right now, but I'm not. And um, what was, oh, the other good one was, um, Andrew, you are not James Dean, which I don't really know how that applied to the show we were doing, but I think maybe he was just tired or yeah. confused. He was like, I gotta give him a note on today. Something. Let him know who You're not, not James Dean. Yeah. I have to okay. say, can I say something? Please. I think Book of Mormon would have sucked with James Dean. Thank you. Yeah. He would have just like mumbled his way, way through it. Way too broody, yeah, not it'd be fun like at really, all. Yeah, really, yeah. So I'm glad I'm not James Dean. Yeah. That worked I'm, out. I'm even happier. But I'm still acting with my hair, so take that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> and can I say something? You're very charming when you do it. Yeah. And it's a Set. choice. It's a choice I care for. You guys, that's Andrew Reynolds. <laughs> Gutenberg. The music is playing now, the James Real James Dean. Go see it and stick around. Be right back. Jasmine Ward.